yeah, um, I decided to do a recap because um, for some reason, I don't know what's going on with y'all and um, how come you all can't understand uh, what we're dealing with, the fire children. I just wanted to say a few things because um, a lot has been on my mind. And um, I said I wasn't going live again, and I don't want to go live. Today, I just need to recap on a few things that were said about me and a few things that are going on in this tribe that many of you do not understand. First of all, I would like to say this. Um, let me start off with the all prayer. Bara, bara, bara. Na bab na dar mukdar na ut mukdat na ut mukdat ba dead pata na ut mukdat ba ba dead yanun. Anuki ja wif pa ashuk im pa pa ut wu kalal ashuk kawun jawaf ne ye. Anuki kasem um im pa pa ut wu pa pa ut kawun kasem um im ne ye. Anuki wahu ame pa pa ut wu pa pa ut kawun wahu ame ne ye. Na kuk kador na ju. Ame kasam um in pa pa um. Na kuk kador kawan kalil pafaf. Na kuk arud jawif pa pa ut. Ame wase. Ame aradni. Kawan le ye. Pa koi jawif pa pa ut. Anuki ya bad bi ye nefasni. Pa pa ut kawan anuki. Pa pa ut kador na kuk kador. Pa pa ut amul na kuk amul. Okay. First of all, let me. I, I want to recap on some things. First of all, you got um, the brother Hoontwe, Anthony Montgomery, who, by the way, does not have a home that he can call his own. He does not have a place. He was not told to live in 7-Eleven. He's over there on Bushwick Avenue living in that building. And um, he was given uh, the authority to have... Uh, he was given the authority to be in charge of the books of Chicago bookstore. And, um, you know, you all have to look at them and, and wonder why, why is he, who appointed him to be over the books? They all work together, all of them. They're all one cesspool of maggots. And that is what they're called in our part of the, called the shadow people. Y'all need to recap on that. First of all, I don't appreciate anyone in this tribe talking about me saying that what is going on with me exposing a family that is called Tabajetism. First of all, there's not an ism with anything that I'm doing. I'm telling y'all about black devils. I'm telling y'all about what they did. I'm telling you all what I know because I was there around them, right? So I first I told you all, <laughs> excuse me, and then after I told you all, I, after I told you all what these people did, I showed you what they did. I showed you who I'm talking about, right? And I also put on the wall, I gave you a whole, I put everything that I worked on, the things that I've done to help the master teacher, I put that up on the wall as well. And it's like, you know, you guys have to realize what we're dealing with. And you have to know who the master teacher is because if you don't trust him as your master, as your Lord and Savior, and you're walking around doubting, then things that are revealed to you, you're not going to know that it's, you're not going to feel or know that it's real. If you're not contacting your ancestors, if you're not using our ways that was brought to us, that was taught to us, you're not going to know anything. You're going to be walking around blind like the rest of them. Do you actually think the master teacher is coming home to eat with a bunch of Gentiles? Most of these people in this tribe are bums, okay? They hide behind the internet. They're bums. I'm telling you what I know. Why? I lived around them. I worked around them. And this is why I know what I know. And this is why I'm telling you all what I'm telling you all. Today, I'm doing a recap because I'm tired of people reaching out to me, asking me how's Baba doing. I don't got like seven, eight different, you know, messages from different people. How do you think he's doing? He's in prison. He's incarcerated. So how do you think he's doing? 
come on now. Y'all got to wake up. Y'all act like y'all don't know what's going on. And y'all want me to tell you everything. I'm not telling you everything. And I'm not obligated to tell you anything. So stop asking me. I don't have to tell you nothing. And if you don't want to support me, then don't. Take your money and shove it, okay? Because you've done nothing. Hoon Twee, you've done nothing, okay? I'm a Numa, you've done nothing. Because I asked Bob about you, he said he doesn't know you. He said y'all never wrote him. Y'all never worked and asked how was he doing, and you never got involved to help free him. So you all got all these different people um, that are walking around here pretending that they walk with Baba. He told me to let y'all know that they never wrote him. They never asked about his life. They never cared about his life. And most of the brothers, when they wrote him, they wanted to be in on something. Baba said they would write him and ask him, what do you need me to do? I'll do this and I'll do that. He said they all wanted positions, including to Shaka Malik. He, he shut down all the lodges. There is no more OES. There is no more uh, brothers in the lodge. He told y'all to take that crap off, put on your black and gold, and go out there and raise souls. Are y'all doing that? No. Y'all are still eating flesh. Flesh has worms in it. Y'all walking around here unhealthy. You got all this stuff going on in your life, and you asking the person who did all the work, what's going on? What are you doing? Stop asking me about the master teacher, okay? Because I'm not telling nobody nothing anymore. You want to know what's going on? Put those people on blast, the ones that y'all been giving y'all money to all these years, the ones that have been partying in his name. Ask them what's going on. They got the books. Sakina got millions. Nabab-Tet has millions. Stop making them make you think that they don't have money because they do. They're asking you for money because they want you to think that they're broke. Sakina sold one of the buildings already, and they still got, uh, got all those other buildings in her name. She was plotting from the beginning, y'all. Since the master teacher was locked up, she was plotting all of them, using you all for your money, using playing y'all like y'all freaking dumb. They play y'all like, like y'all their puppets. And then when the, the person comes and tells y'all the truth about what the real deal is, y'all still question and you slander. For what? What have you done? You can say whatever you want to say about me, but one thing you cannot say is that I did not work to help Baba to save his life. I put my life on the line. I stopped living. Okay? I do not have a mate. If I did, I would not be asking you all for financial support if I did. I'm not a bum, and I'm not going to lay up with a man who's not a provider, okay? My ex was about to give me, before I came home in the community, I was about to drive a, 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 a platinum Benz coupe. He was giving me that car, and I left all of that to come into Woosa back. And I humbled myself, and I lived in Athens, Georgia, and I did not have a vehicle. I walked and took the bus everywhere I went, and I didn't mind. Brothers and sisters would see me, hey, you need a ride? I'm like, no, I'm good. I walk where I got to go. There's sidewalks everywhere in Athens, Georgia. I walked everywhere, and I saw a lot. A lot of these people that are around y'all are bums. They're bums. They're not hard workers, and they never wrote the master teacher. He wants y'all to know that. They never wrote him. They never thought or asked him, how is he doing? Is there anything I can do to help you, brother? But now they all on the internet acting like they these big-time niggas with all this information, and they don't. Look, let me tell you something. The information that y'all are looking for is in the doctrine. Why y'all looking for somebody to lead you? Your leader is incarcerated. And if you and he, he gave y'all a way to contact him through the call of Yanun, the gateway to Yanun. He gave you all that. So that you could reach out to ask him anything. He said, if you want to get close to me, this is what you do. And he gave us a prayer 
to reach out to him. So why aren't you all doing that? He gave us a chance to call out to our ancestors to ask for assistance when we needed it. Why are you not all doing that? He gave us a diet. He said that we needed to work out as if our life depended on it. Get on a treadmill. Go walking. Get your life together and stop doubting. Because the only reason why you want to know what's going on is because you're scared. You want to know what's going on. Where's Baba? What's going on? You don't care because if you did, then back then you would have reached out to him and you would have asked him. I wrote Baba. I wrote Baba. I wrote him. I wrote him. I wrote him. Sometimes when he didn't respond, I still wrote him because I understood that this is a man that has saved his, gave his life over to save his people. And I'm going to tell you something else, what the master teacher told me. This is what he said to me recently. He said, I am Melchizedek. He said, do you think for one moment that they're going to leave me in here when I was sent? to save a special group of people because everybody ain't going to make it. A lot of people in this tribe, y'all need to really start taking a look at people that are around you, especially the ones that tell you, oh, Tabajet is this, Tabajet is that. Tell them, ask them niggas, show me a letter that, that you wrote to the master and show me a response that, show me a letter that, that you wrote to Baba or show me a response that you got from the master teacher. Ask them niggas to show you a letter that where Baba wrote to them. Because they got all this stuff to say about me, but they have no proof that they ever reached out to the master teacher and they was ever concerned about his life. You see, you got a lot of people in this tribe, they're jealous of me. They're jealous because I got balls. I'm not a man, but I move like the brothers, like a man should have moved. I went to Africa, and I'm going to tell you something, too. The Brownstone Law Firm gave me a round-trip ticket to West Africa. They needed me to go there. They contacted the Ministry of Foreign Affairs before I left so that they could meet with me to give me documents so that the master teacher could be repatriated and back home to Liberia, to Africa, because he is a naturalized citizen, right? This is a fact. I got the paperwork. And they all know this. But the administration, the office over there in the Babtech, I'm going to tell y'all about her too. She's a freaking federal agent. She's a, she's a conspired informant. She knew her from the door from the day when she came in. She came in as an informant. Okay? And so what the master teacher does is he does the opposite of what they think he's going to do. So when these people come in pretending that they want to rust, Baba says, okay, you want to rust? Watch me. You like me? Okay, come on. Be my mate. I'm going to show you who I am. So that way you can go back and tell your people who the weather real deal is and stop investigating me because I'm not the bad guy. And they know this. Okay? Any person, any leader that has ever came forth to help us, they always persecute them. And this is what I don't understand why you brothers don't attack the men. Hold on. 
let me um let me sit somewhere else. Hold on a second. Let me cover this up. All right, hold on, y'all. Let me know if y'all can hear me now. And how does it sound? The sound is breaking up. Oh gosh, why is this happening? Hold on a second. Let me go over here. I'm thinking it's maybe it's somewhere where I'm located in my house because I only got two bars on my um with my internet. Okay, you know what I'm gonna do? Hold on a second. Okay, I just put my Wi-Fi back on. Okay, so y'all should be able to hear me. Okay, you know what? My Wi-Fi was off. So let me start all over again then. Hold on. Okay, y'all said I sound better? Okay, good. All right, good. Thank you. Whoever name is Cash, Cash Light, <laughs> Taute. Okay, let me start off with the all prayer again, and we'll start all over again. Bada, bada, bada. Na bab na zdar mukdar na utmuk dad ba dad pata na utmuk las ba dad yanun. Anuki ja wef pa ashuk em pa pa ut u kalal ashuk kawun jawaf ne ye. Anuki kasam um em pa pa ut u pa pa ut kawun kasam um em ne ye. Anuki wahu ame pa pa ut u pa pa ut kawun wahu ame ne ye. Na kuk ka dor na ju, ame kasam um em pa pa ut u khabob ame muskas um. Na kuk ka dor ka wan ka lil pafaf, na kuk arud ja wif pa pa ut, ame wase, ame aradni, ka wun le ye, ba koi ja wif pa pa ut. Anuki ya bad bi ye, nefasni, pa pa ut ka wun anuki. Pa pa ut ka dor na kuk ka dor. Pa pa ut amul na kuk amul. Okay, let me say this to you all because I didn't take notes or anything. I'm just talking. I'm just talking to you all. Um, I'm going to talk for about a half an hour, and then you all can pass this live around. First of all, I want to say this to you all. Sakina and the Babtet and the uh, uh, Waki, Dale Elaine Brown, they're all rich. They all got money, all of them. And so what they do is they'll go live or they'll go on their conference calls and ask you all for money because they want you all to think that they're broke, okay? So now, Sakina put her name in all those buildings, those brownstones on Bushwick Avenue. She has her name on the deed. So that means that if she decides she wants to sell them, I don't know what the process is because I'm not a real estate broker and I don't know... The, how that goes. But Nabatet's name is on the deed, and so is Nawal. Listen, these are greedy devils. So they're on, so the thing is this, they have to ask you for money to pretend that they're broke to act like they don't have the money. But think about it like this. They got the suits with the on tweeds that they selling for like three, five hundred dollars a suit with the hat. You got another sister and her husband that makes the hats. They're selling making the hats. They got the incense, the oil incense. They got the oil oil. You know, they got the books. They have all the artifacts and the different entwees and emblems and stuff like that. They have money, family. So why are they asking you all for financial support when they have the money? They have the books and they got the bookstore and they have money. Why are they asking you all for money? Y'all got to wake up and y'all got to stop listening to these devils in this tribe. Now, let me say what I said again. And I'm saying this because this is a fact, okay? People are asking me what's going on with Baba. How is Baba? And I'm here to let you all know that he's in prison. Stop asking me how the master teacher is doing. It's disrespectful. Because you're trying to be nosy and you want to know what's going on. And I'm not obligated to tell you anything. And if you don't like it, then take your money and shove it. All right? I'm not kissing. Nobody's behind in this tribe to support me. I put it on the wall and I showed you all what I've done. And it's not about no top of jetism. All right? You go ahead and listen to that bum Anthony Montgomery because he doesn't have a home of his, of his own. Tell him to show you his apartment. Tell him to show you his car. Because in our doctrine, a man that doesn't have a vehicle is a bum. And the mass teacher said they're bums. They hide behind our doctrine. 
And they use our emblems and pretend that they walk with us, but they don't. They don't walk with us. The mass teacher said they never wrote him. Ask that brother, the young elder, to show you a correspondence between him and the master teacher. Ask that brother, Manessa, like that calls himself Lifeway, to show you a, car, a correspondence between him and the master teacher. Ask Amonuma to show you a correspondence between him and the master teacher. They cannot do it. Why? Because they never wrote him. They never asked him how he's doing. They never asked, is there anything that I can do to help you? They never did it. But they always online talking crap about me and Tabi Jettism and all this other crap. They're jealous of me because I'm a woman and I did the work. Now, let me repeat what I said about Nabatet. Nabatet is an informant, okay? She's working with Africa to keep Baba locked up, all right? She came in as an informant, just like Michelle, Michelle York, who was in Liberia, her mother was an informant too. Her mother used to be all wired up and back in the Ansardo Law days, and Baba kept, and Baba's like, look, I'm trying to show you that I'm not who you think I am. Okay, you like me? All right, let's be together. She got pregnant, left the community, went back to Cleveland or Ohio, wherever her mother was from, and found out she's pregnant, had her daughter. Her daughter was born. Her daughter started doing the same thing. Like mother, like daughter. Nifu Amenhotep, a.k.a. Elizabeth Westbrook, she was an informant too. They're all informants. Anthony Montgomery is an informant, a.k.a. Hoontwee. He's an informant. He works with the other side. So is Deuce Wild York. He's an informant. So is Sakina. She's an informant. So is Dale Elaine Brown and her daughter. They all work with the government, y'all. And and why are they, why were they given positions? Why I don't know. I'm not a master. Okay? I don't, I can't, I can't tell you all, all how the master teacher thinks. I can only tell you all what I know. And I know that each and every one of them niggas, they did, they never wanted him out of there. They never worked with me. When I went to Africa, the Brownstone Law Firm sent me to West Africa. They contacted the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and they agreed to, they agreed to meet with me. But when I got to Africa, President, they sent President Sirleaf Johnson, told her to leave. When I was going, she was leaving. And I said, what? when I got to Liberia, because you know you got to transfer from Ghana, and I got to Liberia on that small plane. It was a small plane from Kenya. When I got to Liberia, I saw the president, Sirleaf Johnson. She was leaving, and I was coming in. And they said, there's the president. She's leaving. I said, why would she leave if they said to, that she could meet with, with me? When I got there, the minister who was there, the acting minister, he was pissed off. He was upset because Zanitra had got this lawyer named Jay and they, yeah, that's why she's not here no more. Ask yourself a question. If she was such a good person and she did such good things for Baba, why she ain't here no more? Why did they take her out? Think about it, family. Why is she not here? Why was balloons going up? Y'all better start thinking about all these people who having balloon ceremonies and why their children and some of their fathers and all these people are dying. Now, don't get me wrong. Some people, it's because of their health because diabetes is nothing to play with, especially when, it, when you get an infection. You understand? KU's right now, KU's, a.k.a. Sneferu, is sitting in a nursing home with, a, with one foot off and he's blind and he look like he's 97 years old. Y'all better start asking people about that brother and how he treated people and the things he did during Baba's incarceration. He's not a good person. I'm telling you what I know. I know him and I met him. He picked me up from when I was released from the feds and I had to go to the halfway house. The brother KU's, a.k.a. Sneferu, picked me up. And you know what he did? He got into an argument with me because I, he wanted me to be his mate. I said, I'm not going to be your mate. You, you could forget about that, brother. And he wanted to kick me out. He said, I swear to God, say another word. I pull over and kick you out at the side of this highway. And he didn't say it like that. 
and now he's sitting in a nursing home with one foot and he's blind. Because if he did that to me, he had Baba's daughter, Leah, arrested, had her locked up, got into an argument with her. He had another sister named Sarita that he had a baby with. He had her locked up, came in her house swinging some stick, going back and forth, had her arrested. You know, y'all got to start. Listen, y'all, see, this is the problem with members of this tribe. Y'all see the y'all see the glory, but y'all don't know the story. Y'all see these people standing up before you like they got this love for Baba, but behind closed doors they devils. And see the ancestors are watching them, and so that's why they're getting out of Baba's way because the master teacher said this. He said, "I'm not coming out." until each and every one of you that's not supposed to be here is gone. He said, if you do not leave, then we, partner Thoughtle, will remove you, even if it means pulling your lifeline. See, let me tell you what's going to happen to them. Sakina is going to wake up, and she ain't going to be able to move. And that's why I said you got to go to sleep. Duswa is going to go to jail. Waki is going to wind up in a nursing home. And Bob is going to be out. And people, see, this is what, this is the thing. They think they're all of that because Bob is locked up. But y'all all know that once the math teacher comes home, we're not going to be around them because they don't have the answers to this troubled world. Right now, we all need a safe place to go because of what's about to happen on this planet. There's another virus coming. There's a whole lot of other things that's happening with the economy. They're going to have a climate collapse and all this other stuff that's going on that they have no answers to. So what they're doing is they're using the celebrities to have concerts. They're using all the old school, new school rappers to do all of these great things to distract us, but, you know, to distract us from what's really happening around the world. You know, this beautiful planet, is about to have the worst calamities which they're having already that's ever been seen and ever in the history of the existence of this planet. And this is coming from Panabab Yanun, our master teacher. He's our warning of this day and time. There's no one else on this planet that can warn us. So I'm here to tell you what I know from being around these people. So let me get back to Nabate. She's a freaking informant. When I went to Liberia, they told them to kill me. And what happened was when I went in my hotel, the first hotel uh, room that I was in, as you know, in Africa, they, they get their uh, current, which is electricity from generators. So the first room that I was in when I went to Liberia, I went to the front desk and said, listen, I can't sleep at night with that noise with that, 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 uh, that thing. And she said, that's a generator. I said, yeah, I can't, I can't sleep. She said, okay, give me a couple of days. I'll switch you to another room. So by the time I went and met with the minister, when it, it just so happens that the day that I went to meet with this man, I forgot his name, the, the acting minister, it was Charles, President Charles Taylor's birthday. I took a picture. I took a picture of the day that I was there. And the man said, the documents that you need is right in this office here. We have to wait till the boss man comes. When the boss man gets here, then we'll sign it off and give it to you. So that way the Brownstone Law Firm, the international attorneys could do what they do to get Baba out. And this is why I know that Sakina is a devil. Nabatet's a devil. Waki is a devil. Her daughter, Fatima York, is a devil. Hoon Tui is a devil. That's why I know that they're all devils. Dana Miller, look at her name, Meri Tetsukorte. What is, who is, who was Meri Tetsukorte? Investigate her name. If you look in Egypt, Meri Tetsukorte means she who peaks. That was a self-appointed police officer, okay? That's who Meri Tetsukorte was, a.k.a. Dana Miller, a.k.a. Dana Dixon. She married that police officer, Bobby Dixon. He's a bum. He's a bum, and he, like I said, y'all, he put his hands on me, okay? He bumped me in the building one day. He walked by me. He bumped me. He was upset because when I was in Athens, Georgia, uh, the sister Rukan, they had a balloon cer ceremony for her too. She tried to link me up with the brother Bobby. A lot of sisters was trying to get me out the way. They was jealous because they knew that Baba liked me, and they used to all try to hook me up with brothers. And Rukan tried to hook me up with the brother Bobby, when I first got to Athens and he had called me and he had my number and I said, where'd you get my number from? Oh, Rukan gave it to me. 
And I said, well, you know, I'm a police officer and I'm a peacock and I'm this and I'm that. And I said, brother, I don't like cops and no, no offense to you, but like I live on the opposite side of the totem pole. I'm not really feeling police officers and I'm not interested in you and I don't even know you. You understand? And he got mad at me because of that. And, you know, then he got with Dana and he used to try to show off like as if I was jealous of his relationship. And the thing is, I don't like you. So why would I be jealous of who you're with? So when they became, when Baba appointed them to be in charge of the, the para, the, he said, I'm the Pharaoh. And he used to act funny with me. He used to come and mess with me all the time, telling me to move from the front. I'm not an elder. I was like, listen, I know I look young, but I was born in 1966, bro. I'm not a child. I mean, he was like, you ain't no older than me. I was like, I'm older than you. He looked at me and he couldn't believe it. And I was looking at him like, yo, I'm, I'm an elder. <laughs> I don't care what I look like. I'm an elder. Okay? I'm not a child. Okay? And so he got mad and used to bump. He took his shoulder and he bumped me real hard. And even the elders that used to sit up there and be like, what's going, what's going on, Top of Jack? Why every time you come in here, he got a problem with you? I was like, I don't know, man. These niggas are just haters. They're haters and they're the jealous ones. And they're upset because Baba did not come here for them. This is a DNA doctrine. And if your DNA is not encoded to be with them, with this doctrine, then you're on the outs. You're not on the in. I don't care how much you pray, how much you fast, and you claim that you're a vegan or whatever. You're not one of us. They only came for the children of the Most High. They did not come for these people. And they're angry at Baba because of it. They were faithful, but not true. They were not Baba's true servants. They were not his true followers. And he told them that on Tamaray. He said, y'all are not my true followers. He said, when this is over, he talked to the people on the land. He said, there's only going to be enough of y'all to fit inside of a Volkswagen. In other words, out of the 300 people that lived on the land, there would probably only be seven of them that would make it. The rest of them were going to fall off the path. And the math teacher said that they would get the truth. The, the ways of the world, the truth would suck the ways of the world out of them. So now Bob is gone. And now they all showed you who they are, their true colors. All the whores, all the brothers sleeping around with each other and with sisters. Y'all can sit up here and act like y'all ain't with that gay stuff. Y'all are. Y'all are all sleeping with each other. And like I said, I don't have anything against the LBGTQ community. I'm telling you what I know. I'm telling you what I saw. When I was, not what I seen, but like I didn't see anybody sexually active, but I saw brothers talking to each other. All right? And, and, and the thing is this. I don't care. You're not my mate. I didn't sleep with you, so I don't care. But the thing is, you can't pretend that you got this love for Baba and you're so woo to bat and you're so down with our doctrine, but you're living another way. There are informants in this tribe, okay? And I expose them all to you. And I told you again, Hoon Tui is an informant. The Bab Tech is an informant. Douchewa, Douchebag York is an informant. Fatima York, uh, Mary Elaine York, Dale Elaine Brown's uh, daughter is an informant. Um, Nabab Tet is an informant. Gadush Tet is a greedy. She's not an informant, but she's a greedy. She got some be something inside of her that ain't human. Okay? They're all informants because they what happened, what happened was their, their, their vibrational rate drops to, to trying to explain to you all who these people are. Okay, you can y'all hear me now? No sound. Okay. That's because somebody was trying to call me while I was talking to y'all. You see how the devil is? <clears throat> Every time I start to talk about something that's so important, the distractions come, whether it's a knock on the door, whether it's a phone call. So someone just tried to call me. They're going to have to, I'll take that call later. Okay, so... That's what happened. So what I was explaining to you is this. In 2008, they tried to rewind the time, right? And what they did was they used this, this machine, the Hydron Collider, and they bust open the gate. And Baba said, Hell's Gates is open. And the, and the Baba said, the vortex where Hell's Gates is open is where the North Star is. So Baba said that, told us to, he said, listen, I would tell y'all to stop have being sexually active 
but you're not going to listen to me. He said, but we are porous beings. So he said, we have holes in our skin. And he said, one of the reasons why extraterrestrials, when they come here, they come with suits on is because they don't want their body to be open for any entity or anything where it's an insect or whatever to get inside of them and bite them. He said, this planet has a big X on it that is quarantined. He said, so because we're porous like that, he said, hell's gates is open. He said, these beings can come in inside of you and you get what's called a walk-in. And some of them can come inside of you, depending on your vibrational rate. If you vibrate low to six ether, they can come inside of you, right? And take over you and your, take over your body as a host and live inside of you. And Baba said that to Sakina when she came to see him. He said, hell's gates is open. He told her that. She didn't, man, please. Look, y'all, these people are not with us. And you all are going to see it. And so I want to also say to you, so I'm going to get back to the bad set in a minute. So many of you are just doubting, right? So you doubt, and because of your doubt, there comes fear. So when you doubt, you have fear. And when you have fear, it makes you vulnerable to the evil ones, right? And one of the reasons why we don't eat the meat is because the meat is blood, right? And blood makes you vulnerable to Satan, okay? So Baba said not to drink the soda. He said not to drink the milk. He said not to drink the coffee and he told us to get off the flesh because the flesh is the blood. Think about it. When you bite chicken, when you bite chicken, you see the veins in it. When I was a child and my mother fed, I, I did not like meat. I was like, what is this thing? Is this a worm? And it was, my brother would be like, no, it's a vein. So you could see the holes where the vein where the blood runs through the vein in the chicken. So you're eating dead carcasses and it makes you vulnerable to the devil when you eat flesh, right? So Baba did tell us to eat seafood, but now they're messing with the ocean and the seafood is not good. So now we're on not a vegan diet, we're herbivores. So we eat healthy food. You season your food. You know, don't just eat bland. We're not Celtics. Season your food, eat healthy, walk, chant, and pray. And then the thought will open your eyes and let you see what the real deal is. So all these people talking about some Tabajetism, it is no Tabajetism. It's me speaking the truth and the facts. And they're afraid of that because they cannot prove me wrong. Okay. If it's Tabajetism and it's not facts, then prove me wrong. I'm telling you all what I know. All right. About Dale Elaine Brown, Mary Elaine York. Carla Thomas, Nabab, that they, a.k.a. Nabab Tech, and I'm telling you that these people are informants. Douche York, Hoon Tweet, and there's others, okay? There's others that work with them. Y'all watch these people, watch who support them, and watch what they do. Tashak Malik, they're all informants. Don't y'all know that they were paying the government of Liberia to not repatriate Baba? Look, I got Baba's naturalized citizen paperwork right in my hand. With all the paperwork, why is he still in there? Why? And like I said, y'all, he coming out. I'm going to tell you what the master teacher told me, and I'm going to say it again. He said, I am Melchizedek. I am the one that they sent to defeat the devil. And I was sent to prepare the way for those who were worthy and those who made themselves worthy by making themselves clean in the blood of the lamb. Well, how will you make yourself clean in the blood of the lamb? What was Baba's incarcerating? He's sacrificing himself, right? And as he's sacrificing himself, he's writing out formation. So he's giving us the tools to help tra transform ourselves. So if you all are not applying this doctrine to your life, you can't get mad at me because you don't know what's going on or you want to know what's going on. Get mad at yourself because guess what? Even before that, before I got involved with the master teacher's doctrine, I mean, before I got involved with writing Baba, when Baba did the Wunda Wupu lessons, I wasn't working on his case, but I knew he would be home. I want to also tell you something else. There was a letter that the master teacher wrote to me. Now, hold on. I got to find. I'm going to read it to you all. Hold on a second. I got to cover this because I don't want everybody in my business. 
in my house, you know, in my apartment. This is my place and it's private. Hold on, but let me get my other... I got to find this letter. Oh, there it is. Hold on a second. I want to read this to you all because... um, And like I said, tell them niggas that said I'm lying to prove me wrong. Because if it's top of Jedism and it's not facts... And y'all going on something else that I said, and it's all hearsay, because we know that the monotheistic religions, right? Muhammadism, Hebrewism, Christianism, you know, Rastafarianism and all of that. We all know that to be, hold on. We all know that to be fake, right? Can y'all still hear me? Let me know. Y'all can hear me. Can someone in the chat room please let me know that y'all can hear me? Can someone let me know? Okay, good. All right, I got a letter that I want to read to you all. One moment. I just got to find it. Okay, thank you, sis. Towel tag. All right, so um, so now, like I said, if I'm lying, prove me wrong, okay? I done, I done posted on my page and showed y'all how many times that I, uh, I showed y'all how many times that I wrote Baba, and that was just one, one, um, one box, one shoe box. I have so many different shoe boxes of letters, and all the letters was about Baba's life. Sometimes he would tell me stuff about, um about when Rochelle was in office, you then Nifu was in office, then the brother Rick, he was in office, then the brother um, Joe, he was in charge at one time, and then him and his wife, Robbie, then Bobby and Dana, you see what I'm saying? So it's like, y'all gotta watch, y'all have to watch the, um, the pattern, and once you see the pattern that Baba has, it'll help you understand what we are dealing with and who these people are. Because I used to sit back, when I first um, got to Athens, Georgia, I thought they all cared about Baba's life. I thought they was his family and that they cared about him. I was like, wow, man. And they would come dressed up. They would come back from seeing Baba with henna on their hands, you know, with the Ninty braid, with the uh, Mitch Dahl and our Patar. You know, Mitch Dahl is Ninty. And the Patar, they would have that. And they would dress up and stand up in, in front of us. And, and they was all fake, man. All fake. There for the money. Using Baba. They wanted his money, his jewelry, his house. They wanted the land, the property. And I don't know if y'all know this, but um, um, the brother Bun, he was going around teaching in different places in Alabama. And he put his two daughters through school. And he got all this money from chopping off the trees from off the land and selling it to the, uh, to the wood shops, um, the factories, the wood factories in, um, in Georgia. And that's where he got his money from. So it's like, you know, these people all left Baba in prison to die at the hands of the devil, okay? And I'm the sister that did the work. None of them did any work. And like I said, you know, one thing about the truth is it will always reveal itself. OK, and the lies, you'll always get caught up in the lies. So eventually you all will know what I'm saying to you is real, not from what I'm saying, but from my works. OK, because I got other stuff, other things that I can tell you all, but I can't post them and say anything about it until it plays out. You understand? But know this, that Judge Charles Ashley Royals, Sheriff Howard Richard Sills, and the people that are responsible for the incarceration of the master teacher is, is going to have their day. Because this whole case was all pure racism, all right? This whole case was nothing but, a, but racism. Racism and hatred. And then Baba's own people sold him out to the devil. Hold on a second, y'all. I got to figure something out. How am I going to get this letter? Because uh, I thought I had it right here. Well, you know what? I can't find it, so it's probably not meant for me to read it. So now, let me get back to you and telling y'all about Nabatek. So now, I went to Africa. When I got to Africa, um, 
when I got to Africa, they tried to kill me. And Nabaptet, um, Mary Elaine York, and their mother and all of them told the government to kill me. They said, listen, she over there now. Now y'all could kill her because they, they wanted them to kill me to get rid of me because they said, you know, she, she's dangerous. Like she's, she's, uh, she's got this law firm and she's doing stuff and they didn't want Baba coming out, right? So what happened was um, the two, there was two police. When I, I went to the, uh, the minister got upset with me because of what I said. I'm like, listen, y'all not going to talk to me any other kind of way and I not speak up for myself because y'all don't know this. Africa is a male chauvinistic country. Oh, yeah. The women don't talk back to their men. They're slaves to the men over there. They cook for them, uh, slave for them. They don't, have a, they don't have a voice. You understand? And it's like, it's, and, and don't get me wrong. I like the segregation and I like the unity. I like how they treat treated each other, but the women don't have a voice. So this man was talking to me, like I was some talking about, I'm not signing nothing. I'm not doing anything. I said, but sir, you agreed to meet with me. <clears throat> and he had this woman there with him. And she started going off on me, telling me to take my ass back to the States. You know, they, listen, let me, let me explain to y'all about Africa. They don't like Americans. Okay. They don't like us. We are American, African Americans. They don't consider us as Africans. And I had to tell the lady, I said, I'm blacker than you. And I said, and I said to her, I said, you, she, she told me, she's like, you're not African. I said, I'm, I said, my father is, is Adbasa. I said, my father is from Abuja, Nigeria. And then that's when the man looked at me like his eyes got wide open. Like what? And then I said, I said, I'm more African than you. And she said to me, um, Go back to the States. I said, you, I said, I said, you call yourself African with that wig you got on your head. She was like, oh, are you insulting me? I said, I just did. So then I left to go out the office because I realized they wasn't going to work with me. So when I left, she came in a hallway behind me yelling. Um, this is what she said. So this is what they told. This is what they told the government of Liberia about Baba. Nababtech, Duswa. Nifu, a.k.a. Elizabeth Westbrook, Dale Elaine Brown, Mary Elaine York, Baba's brother, Obar, his fake brother, Obar, all of them went over there and lied to the government and said that Baba raped and molested little children, little babies. This is what this, this, is what this lady was saying to me. I said, what? I said, are you crazy? He would never do anything like that. And I said, and I, I'm telling you, y'all, it was not convincing to these people, man. They was just come. Listen, those people, what is Dentut Ray and that brother Amir doing over there in Africa? When Baba told them to get out of there. Baba said, get out of there. Y'all not going to realize how real it is until y'all catch malaria. And guess what? They all got malaria. Topper got malaria. Seneb got malaria. Dushwa got malaria because the sister Diamond that was down there in Ghana with him, she got malaria and her daughter got malaria. They all got malaria. Okay? They all got malaria. And I don't know if y'all noticed about malaria. It gets in your kidneys. When you get it, it's in your kidneys and then it multiplies in your kidneys. Then it gets in your bloodstream. Then it gets to your brain and then you start becoming delusional and you die. And look at that picture that dude Swap posted of himself. He looks pale and he looks sick. He could try to brush his head down like he Yanu all he want to. That nigga is 730. He ain't dealing with a full deck. Any man that, that is attracted to a child and that gets an erection when they see a little girl or a little boy is sick in the head. He belongs in a cuckoo house, okay? He belongs in an asylum with crazy people because he's a sick, dangerous man, all right? For all you stupid niggas that's still supporting him, you're supporting a pedophile. You heard the girl, and then, then, then my thing is this too. Tell me this, because I'm going to get back to Africa in a minute. But tell me this, y'all. How is it that y'all going to let a man tell y'all he don't got six toes and, and, and show his toes, but don't show the feet that's connected to the body. And then y'all sitting up here condoning his behavior and not addressing the fact that he raped a four-year-old little girl. Why y'all not addressing that? Why is it Tashaka Malik and the brothers in the lodge addressing what this man did? Why are y'all still supporting him? Why isn't Hootsuite addressing that? 
What type of man are you to bring up something about my name and say Tabajetism when you're not addressing the fact that there was a man in this tribe that was a part of this tribe that molested and raped a four-year-old little girl? And the thing is this, Anthony Montgomery, a.k.a. Hooney, a.k.a. Hoontwe, you freaking down low. Why are you not addressing that? Wasn't you, wasn't Diamond your mate at one time? So why are you not upset about that? Why are you upset about what I said about Hotep Amunet? Why are you catching feelings for that sister? Because everybody in this tribe knows that y'all was sleeping around with each other. You got something to say about me and what I say about Hotep Amunet, but you're not addressing the fact that there was a man in this tribe that molested a four-year-old little girl. And I want to say this as well. I want to say this to you all. Let me say this to you. We are a tribe, right? We are a tribe and we are a family. So if people sign up and become a Sabian, and the person that signs up to be a Sabian is a rapist, does that make all of us a rapist? No. If a person signs up like me, I used to do credit card fraud, right? And I used to withdraw money out of banks and go in stores. That was back then, 20-something years, 23, 24 years ago. Does that make you all scammers? <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? You cannot take what a person is or what a person did or how a person is and affiliate the whole tribe with that one person like they tried to do with the brother Polite. Baba warned Polite and he got warnings and letters from the master teacher about his ways and he did not listen to Baba. You see, and see what happens is this. The master teacher is a live pharaoh. He's a, he's a pharaoh. He's alive and he's well. So guess what? When you think you're going to do something to the master teacher, you're doing nothing. Y'all all, They all got curses on them. The Bab said his hex. Um, Fatima, Mary Elaine York is hex. Baba's ex-mate, uh, Shalimar Richardson, Prince York mother, she's hexed. They all look. I want you to all to look at them. And look at their lives while they pretend in the eyes of us like they're so freaking thorough and they got it going on. But behind closed doors, they are going through hell and back. Because they turned their backs on the master teacher and they're lying and they're playing games with your lives and your money. And like I said, the Baptist is rich. Now, let me go back to Africa. OK, when I was in Africa, they tried to have me killed. But what happened was when the room that I was in <clears throat> had a generator and it made noise. And so when they when the two police officers escorted me back to my hotel room, they actually sent them there to see where I was at. So what happened was the lady switched me to another room. And so what happened was the person that was in that room who they thought was me that they killed was not me. And Baba said to me, do you know how lucky you are? Baba said they found a body behind in the back of the hotel that you were staying at. You see, they thought that was me, but that wasn't me. That was somebody else. And so being that they found that body back there, now they had to leave. And so what happened was I got with the brother Rashad, who was um, who worked at the airport and he helped me fly back earlier than I should have. But before I left, I was able to get some paperwork, okay? And so then when I called, and when I got back to Florida, I called the Baptist, she picked up the phone on the first ring, you see? And I'm gonna tell you something about me, okay? See, I lived, I lived a lifestyle, right? I lived a, a wealthy lifestyle and it was illegal, but when Martha Stewart did it, they gave her a TV show. When Leona, when Leona Hemsley did it, they called her the queen of the mean and gave her all these. See, when Caucasians steal money and they do illegal stuff, like white collar crime, like what I did, they, they give them props. They get put her on a show with Snoop Dogg, baking cookies, you know, after she did the same, she did, she did time for the same crime I committed. And they only gave Martha Stewart five months and five years probation. And I'm going to tell you why. Because she cooperated with the government and turned other people in. So there were other stockbrokers and people that worked at banks that got locked up. But when I did, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, they offered me 
uh, to tell, but I was like, oh, y'all ain't going to kill me. I was like, oh, y'all ain't going to get me killed. You know, it's, it's people out here that will take your head off, you know, for, for, you know, you get locked up. Look, look, you get, you get arrested for things that you, 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 you committed a crime for, do your time and, and come home with a peace of mind. You know what I'm saying? That's how I feel. Like me, I was like, I'm not working for the government. I'm not a douchewa and a douchebag. And I'm not an Anthony Montgomery. Anthony Montgomery is an informant. I'm telling y'all now. One time he wrote a letter to um to Baba. And the letter got Baba in trouble. And Baba, and they 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 cut Baba's writing privileges off. Okay? So it's like they use them. This is what they do. They use them to do things out here to do things to prevent Baba from communicating with us. You feel me? And right now, they only let seven people write Baba and seven people visit Baba, okay? So now y'all got to look at it and ask, why is the government only letting the bad set go up there? And why they was only letting Nifu up there? And why Key up there? And Fatima and Joe and Robbie and Rick? Come on now. Y'all got to start taking a look at things. OK, now I'm only saying this to you all to wake you up so that way you all won't be fooled by the niggas who come in front of you and say that they work for Baba and they love him and they don't. Because I'm going to tell you what they do. They use our doctrine to camouflage themselves. They use our our garbs to camouflage themselves. They'll throw a garb on real quick and say, Rahul Bet, they'll say the all prayer, Anuki Ja with Pa, and they'll roll their R's when they see you, Rahul Bet, Musyar U, Achei, you know, they put an emphasis, they always pretending that they're so good, you know? So now, the Babtet is an informant, and the Babtet is a millionaire. The Babtet has not had a job since 1990-something. I forgot what year she moved in the community because I wasn't there when she was there. But think about it. She been in that office since Bob has been in there. She has not had a job. How does she pay her rent? How does she go up to visit Bob? What, the Lodge is sending her money? Because back in Athens, the Lodge wasn't sending her money. She was making money off the books. As a matter of fact, off the books and the office. And people would put in orders and she would never fill their orders. She would keep the money. And never send them their books and the stuff that they send in back. You know, I don't know what her position is, like why the government is using her. I don't know why. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what her position is, and I don't know why they're using her, but she's being used by the government. She's not with us, okay? She tried to take my life on several several occasions. She's a she's a freaking devil. And there's something inside of her that ain't human, okay? And this is the truth. And um, she, uh, right now, the Babtet is a part of some chameleon cult. Somewhere she sneaks off and goes to get with these people to, to do some satanic rituals to have the powers that she has to try to keep Baba locked up because they don't want him out. And that is a fact. Um, the sister Gadushtat, she's not human either. I don't know what she is. Something is inside of her. I'm telling y'all now. Y'all, y'all watch them. There's something inside of them. And if you don't think it's real, why would Baba say to watch that movie called um, what was the name of that movie? Um, it's a movie about this girl that found this box, and when she opened it up, this thing got inside of her, and she was eating all the time. And it was like, and he said, "Wow, this, this." He said, "He's, he's really hungry, huh?" And she said, "It's not a he, it's a she." I forgot the name of the movie. But um, there's a movie about that Baba told us to watch about this girl that got this thing inside of her, right? Okay, so now I covered that about Nabatech. She's a freaking informant. She's a freaking uh, fed, and she's working, and, they, and they're rich. She's rich. Her and Sakina, they got money, and so does Nab um, Waki. Waki always acting like she broke. Oh, I don't got this. You know, that's my... Or for the backs of Sabians. They got money and they're pretending that they don't, okay? They pretending that they broke. They got money, y'all. They got money. And Sakina is rich from the buildings and Sakina got property too. Sakina got property in New Jersey. And y'all know I'm not lying because some of y'all live in one of her apartment buildings. And she got buildings in Queens and she got property in Long Island. So why is they asking y'all for money when they got money, okay? Why, family? So now... 
Let me see what else I wanted to cover. I want to tell y'all about Nabatek, that she's a freaking devil. All right? She's a devil. She's evil. And she's, she's a part of a cult called the Chameleon Cult. And um, um, let me see. What else? Who else I could tell y'all about? Sakina. She's some type of demon. You know, she did a ritual with some people in a car and some people died. Um, Duswa, he did a ritual where he um, was driving and he, he hit a man in a car and a man died. You see what I'm saying? It's just like in the, in the music industry, they have to sacrifice somebody. Um, I told y'all about Duswa, how when I had this lady that was going to move Baba, how they all came in there and Baba's son died. My baby brother gone to accident. He almost died. The ladies, her baby brother gone to accident. He almost died. You know what I mean? And so what happened was my baby brother's father died the same day that he was supposed to die. So it's like, you know, it's, it's almost like in that movie called The Lost Boys. When you let them in, when you open the doors and you let them in, it's, it's all bets is off. Like you, once you open them in, it's, it's like a Ouija boy. You, when you say yes and you open the door and they come in, it's, it's, you know, they could, it's, it's over. You know, but when you know who they are and you say no and you don't let them in, it's nothing that they can do. You know what I'm saying? So it's like Sakina went, Sakina got in contact with some people from Nigeria to do some uh, voodoo, to do some, um, some voodoo, uh, some strong witchcraft against the master teacher and me too. That, listen, listen, y'all. These are, these are witches, warlocks, demons, devils, and ghouls. Who do you think we're dealing with? If, if the master teacher is Melchizedek and he came to fight against Azazel and his hosts, who do you think we're dealing with, y'all? We're dealing with the sons and children of the devil. We're dealing with the children of Satan. Okay? So now, to answer your question, what's, how is Baba? He's incarcerated. When is he coming out? He'll be home. Read the doctrine, y'all. He'll be out. He said this case was created so that the world would know who he is. Look at what happens to all the people that go up against the master teacher and start, they take his doctrine and start branching off and doing their own thing. What happens to them? All types of tragedies. Look what happened to Polite. I feel sad for that brother, man. And I'll be honest with you, I don't, me, I'm from Brooklyn, New York. We don't believe the hype. We don't believe everything that we see or we hear on television. Tell lies to your vision. We don't believe in that crap. We know that the government is, is an Illuminati. They work together to create distractions and they do things. I don't know if that young man did that to that little girl. I wasn't there. If he took her to a hotel, they should have cameras in a hotel to show you that he took some little girl to a hotel. OK, now I deal with facts and I know for a fact that Duswa is a pedophile because of what he did to Nifu's daughter. I know for a fact that he's a pedophile because of what he did to the sister Hathar's son. I know for a fact that he's a pedophile because of what he did. Come on, one, two, three. I mean, how many times is his brother going to be brought up on child molestation charges and y'all niggas is sitting up here talking about his toes? And I'm going to tell you why, because a lot of y'all, some of you in this tribe are victims of molestation from either somebody in your family or some of you are men or women that have done that to children. And so these are subjects that are uncomfortable for you to talk about or you don't want to bring them up because you're guilty of it your damn self. But the thing is this, this is not allowed in our tribe. Men are not allowed to beat us and the men are not allowed to abuse our children. This is a no-no. And those of you who know the master teacher and those of you who walk with him know for a fact that this is not our way and that no brother in this tribe is allowed to put his hands on women and walk around here and act like everything is A-OK. -okay. So, Hoon Tui, you got it coming, brother. Whether it's here, Mother Nature's going to deal with you or whether when we go to Africa. But you definitely, you got it coming. You're going to get dealt with for putting your hands on the master teacher's daughter. Because I saw Sabria's face, her eye was closed. That is a no-go. So before you come for me, nigga, clean up your own backyard. Do your own laundry. Wash, get your own apartment. Get a car in your name. Get your apartment in your name.
Have your own, brother. And stop sitting up here talking about me because you've done nothing. You've done nothing. Don't come for me unless you can show me a correspondence from you and the master teacher about you doing work to help him. I sacrificed my life, okay? I've done a lot for the master teacher. When he needed my help, I did not turn my back on him. I didn't ask y'all for help until the help was really needed. But most of the time, it was just paperwork being filed. But then it started to become rough when I really had to make travel and do things. And the people who don't want, do, did not want the math teacher out did everything in their possibility to stop him from coming out. And that's how I know who they are. And like I said, niggas, if it's Tabajetism, prove me wrong. Because guess what? We, we, are, we deal with sound, right, reasoning. We deal with the facts in this tribe. And if I'm lying, prove me wrong. You have yet to prove me wrong. Even when it comes to Deuce Wild and his six toes. It's a distraction from what he really did. He's a pedophile. And he's a sick man. And all you people that are following him, you're crazy and you're sick too. Because there's no way in the world that I'm going to hear a girl, a mother, tell me what a man did to her son, I mean her daughter, and I'm going to still follow this nigga and listen to him. Ask him this question. Why did he deactivate his Facebook page? Where's the picture at of his toes? Why did he take that picture down, y'all? Why did he de- There is no Facebook with Deuce while on there anymore. Why? Because let me tell you something, that child's father, huh, trust me, if he was in Ghana, Deuce Wah would be a dead man. Because he took his child to the hospital and her hymen is gone. The doctors can tell that someone was messing with that girl, okay? So don't sit up here and tell me that this nigga is not a demon because he is. And he does have six toes because Needful, his ex-mate, told me, yeah, my mate got six toes. I said, six toes? She was like, yeah. I said, what you say about it? She was like, oh, nothing. He has six toes. He does. Tell him to show his face connected to his feet. Y'all are petty. Y'all are childish, and a lot of y'all are bums, and you hide behind the internet. You hide behind the internet, and, and you sit up here and act like you walk with Baba, and you don't. You never wrote him. You never spoke to him. Because I'm not the only one. You want to talk to Baba? Get an attorney and set up a call. Stop acting like, you know... Oh, this is top of Jack can do. No, you can do the same thing too. But you're scared. You won't do it. You're afraid. You're afraid to ask, to, to talk to the master teacher. Why? Because inside, you know that you're wrong. Because you sat back and you did nothing all these years. And I'm going to tell you something. The bad them is going up on that visit. They don't want to go up on that visit. They don't want to get phone calls from Baba. They did rituals in Prospect Park. To prevent that with Baba's picture. Victoria Broussard, Mario Jessup, Waki, Nababte, they was oh, they all did rituals, fire rituals. Children of fire. They did rituals against the master teacher to prevent him from writing us to prevent them from visiting him, to prevent him from outside communication. They hoped that Baba would just stay in there and that we would just go away and disappear. But thanks to people like me, Nabab said, you got to take your little bony ass up there every week. Trust me. And they have to answer questions. What happened with this? What happened with that? What's with this? What's with that? How come this didn't happen? How come that didn't happen? Where's this? Y'all been lying to me for years. What happened to that? What happened to this? See, they get mad and they get scared. They don't want to go up there because they have to face the master of heaven and earth. 
Baba is a very powerful man. He's a very strong man. And he is who he says that he is. And if you don't know, then too bad. It ain't meant for you. This doctrine is not for you. If you think that our master of heaven and earth is going to stay incarcerated and that he'll never come out and that he's going to stay, this is not for you. Move on. Move on with your life. Move on or get, or get, <laughs> or get taken out like the Nathalie were doing. Because they said, Baba said, if you don't get out my way, then we part Nathalie will remove you. Even if it means pulling your lifeline, you're going to get out of my way. So if you don't think he's coming out and if you're doubting, because like I said, with doubt, there's fear. And with fear, you become vulnerable to the devil and anybody can say anything to you and make you think that it's not real. He's coming home, family. And this is something that I know for a fact. The day, I don't know the day. I don't know the time. But I'm going to tell you what Baba told me. He said, I know the day I'm getting out. I know the time I'm getting out. And I know when I'm getting out. And I know how I'm getting out. He told me this out of his own mouth. He's coming home. Stop doubting. Stop doubting. Stop listening to the shadowers. Because when you go to their home, they don't have the pictures of the Nathalie on their walls. And even the ones that do, they're freaking fake. He will be out. And I'm a part of it. So stop hating on me. All right? They picked me and they asked me. Like I said, y'all like to see the glory, but not the story. Y'all don't know what I went through to get where I am today. These men and women in this tribe that claim that they got love for Baba are devils. And they always trying to prove themselves. Listen, let me tell you something. I got 67.200K followers on TikTok. I don't need thousands and thousands of followers on YouTube. I could go, that's the world most famous internet thing right now is TikTok. It's bigger than Instagram. If I want to expose some more devils, I can do that on my platform. And in fact, I will. I'll let people that don't know who these people are know who they are. I'll go live. I'll, I'll, I'll do, I'll show the pictures and, sh and say, hey, do you know who this is? Do y'all know what demons are? And I'll explain it and I'll break down Baba's case. I'll expose Judge Charles, Ashley Royals, Seals, all of them. Because they, 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 they're on my agenda, you know. I'm about to expose them next, you know. I said I wasn't going to go live again, but no. I think I need to expose what Judge Charles Ashley Royals did and what Sheriff Howard Richard Seals did and the people in this tribe that assisted the devil in incarcerating the master teacher. And then I want y'all, and I also want to uh, let y'all know about the document that I have that is going to free the master teacher. And then you all will see why these people don't like me and why they hate me and why they don't support me. Because trust me, it ain't just them. It's them and their minions. They got plenty of followers and people that hate the master teacher. You got people that hate Baba in Jamaica. You got people that hate him in Ghana. You got people in Liberia. You got people in Trinidad. Oh, yeah. Y'all niggas try to act like y'all fronting in Trinidad in London, too. They don't want him home. But you got plenty of people, and I'm talking about thousands and millions, that love him and know who he is, and he is coming home to his true followers. The master teacher, somebody said, my grandmother was a part of the master teacher's community. She said he was innocent before she passed away. Yeah, he is. He didn't do this. They set him up. Let me tell y'all something, and then I'm going to go. I'm ending this. This is what the master teacher told me. And then after he told me this, they stopped our riding privileges. They cut him off real quick. I was like, man. Baba said that what happened was with this case, this is why he's incarcerated. This is the real reason why he's incarcerated. And it's going to sound like a... Uh, 
a spaceship movie or whatever, or Star Trek or something. No, this is real, family. Baba said that when he was on Tamaray, he had two hemorphodites and homorphodites. He didn't say if it was a two hemorphodites or two homorphodites, but he had two of them on the land. He was teaching them how to read ancient hieroglyphs. Now, in order to understand what I'm about to tell you, you all need to watch the movie called Stargate. Okay? Now, Baba said what happened was he was teaching them how to read ancient hieroglyphs and Habiba, a.k.a. Abigail, was teaching them Nubit. Some distorted Arabic and Sabatia language, she was mixing it up and teaching them that, right? Because remember, the power is in the language, okay? So now, so when she was doing that and Bob was teaching them how to read ancient hieroglyphs, during that time, Sheriff Seals saw a craft over the Black Mirror on Tamaray. But Bob said it wasn't one of our crafts. It was one of theirs, right? So now we all know that their crafts are the ones that they eat them, right? Those are extraterrestrials. And for those of you who don't know, you got to watch the movie The Fourth Con. It talks about those extraterrestrials that eat them. And Baba told us that when that lady took the daughter, when an alien took her daughter through the ceiling and she said, give me my daughter back, he said, I ate her. He said, I'm your God. He was screaming. You can hear the voice. Look, man, when I saw that movie, look, I seen the movie The Exorcist. That movie was scarier than The Exorcist because you knew it was real because you saw the man. They had a video outside the lady's house and you saw the craft over the lady's house. And a beam went down and they took the lady's daughter and abducted the lady's daughter. And Baba said the reason why the man in the in the movie killed himself was because when she put him under hypnosis, he saw the crafts and Baba said they hang the bodies upside down by their feet or sometimes they hang the bodies by the neck. And what they do is they take these instruments and they put them inside the rectum and they take the feces out and the urine out the bodies before they cut them up and cook them. And, but when they do it, they don't, when they do, when they, when they take the, the feces out of the bodies, they don't give them anesthesia because when they're afraid, their food tastes better when they have adrenaline. And the master teacher also said that if you notice Burger King, McDonald's, Popeye's, they having all this two for five burgers and they putting pork in it. Baba said they're feeding their flock because they're going to come here and eat them, Right. So now, Sheriff Seals sees the black mirror over the pyramid on Tamaray, and he gets scared, right? And so now these aliens are like, yo, they getting ready to eat us. Something's getting ready to go down. We got we to gotta stop this because now they're going to get bigger and bigger. And so what happened was they created this, um, this case. And Abigail was reading a book called Flowers about these girls that came together and lied on a reverend and conspired against a reverend and said that he molested and raped them. So now, so now, what happened was they took Baba, they, they tried to lock Baba up because they're trying to prevent the Stargate from opening up because Baba said he needs two hemorphodites, two homorphodites, and then the golden child in the center to open the Stargate. Okay, now there's some other things that I don't know that I don't understand. I never got a chance to ask Baba, but I watched the movie. So Baba said what happened was Amon Ra was upset because Amon Ra said, why did, why did, um, that the, the people on Tamaray should have known better than to let those Celtics, Mukasu, uh, in on the land because they let them in. Now, I don't know. I wasn't on Tamaray. Those of you that lived on the land, y'all know what happened. So Baba said, so Amun Ra got upset and took the land away from y'all, okay? 
So Baba said, but don't you think, Baba said me as, as Mikael, he said, don't you think I could have called my angels to assist me? Because y'all know that the master teacher has 35 million angelic beings that assist him. 35 million angels that assist him in his mission to, you know, he can't do it, he can't do it alone. To assist him in this mission and to gathering the children of the Most High and preparing a way for the Messiah, right? So Baba said, but what, what the Nathadu wanted him to do as Tahuti was to set the record straight for the next 26,000 years as the recorder, as the writer. So with the master teacher being alone and having solitude, he's able to write, he's able to give us different beings can come inside of him and give him, give us the information that we needed. So each time a being come in, they'll write stuff, right? And Bob would write it out and he would send it to the office and they would print it. Now, I know you're saying to yourself, okay, well, these are devils. But you remember how Solomon used the devil to build the temple, right? Because look, number one, they're greedy, right? So what they're going to do when they get the information, you've seen them. Rahu Batmus Yardu, welcome to another Patarak reading. My name's Renenni Kawun Hunswi Sahemswi Renenswi Amun Ray. You know what I'm saying? So now you give these devils this affirmation and they are going to read it. They are going to recite it. They are going to print it. They're going to act like, like the devil did when he was in Melikut. You see? Because remember, the Melchizedek took a marriage species devil, raised him up, taught him, and said, and then he excelled higher than everybody. Right? And then what did Melchizedek do? He put him in charge and said, here, you know what? Now you're in charge of the whole Melikut. And guess what? He took all the rest of them devils with him. But guess what Melchizedek did? He cleaned out the galactical heavens because now they're all down here on earth. All the ones that went with them and all the ones that followed them. It's just like Rick. Look at the people that was with Rick and they followed Rick. Now they gone. The niggas that used to follow Joe and Robbie and now they gone. The niggas that was following Nifu when she was in charge and now they gone. You see? It's all a master plan. So you got to watch how the master teacher used the devil then, and now he's using these devils now. And now we got all the books. And guess what? They got all the money, right? So they think, and they got all this power, so they think. But guess what? After the, after the ancestors finish using them, they're going to throw them in the pit with their father, the devil who they served, the greedy, the miserly, the evil. The, 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 uh, the power seekers, the power hungers, the people who think they're, they're, they're in charge and they're not. Watch them. Look at them. Look at Sakina. She looks horrible. Oh, my gosh. You think I want to be like them? Man, look, my soul and my life is more important than me ever trying to be like one of them. You crazy? Those are devils. So now let me finish telling you about the land. So what happened was Amun Ra got upset and destroyed Tamare. And if you watch the movie Stargate, Amun Ra got upset and destroyed the land because they let those devils in. And they tried to, 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 to blow up the Stargate and leave. So Amun Ra, so they took Baba and said, we're going to bring you over here. And if they free you, then we'll free them. And I'm going to tell you how it works. They don't need everybody. They just need a handful of people to say, we want him home. They just need a handful of people to work together. Because I remember, I ain't even going to tell y'all this because y'all going to think I'm lying. But anyway, the ancestors work like this. Extraterrestrials work like this. Look, if, you, if we could even find one good person that loved you enough, to make the sacrifices, we'll free them all from that one person. And that's why I said, you know what? And I know it's not just me. I know there's a whole lot of people that really love Baba, that really care about his life. And so don't. So I'm saying this to you all. The reason why he's incarcerating is because they are trying to prevent him from opening the Stargate. 
And these people that you think that are around us, some of them are not human. And I showed you who they were. And like I said, prove me wrong. Because if it's about Tabajetism, then prove me wrong. Because Bible will show you through the prophet Muhammadism, through the Christ, Jesus Christ, Christism, and the monotheistic religions that they're wrong. Bible will show you the fault in their doctrine. So prove me wrong. Show me the fault in what I've said and the things that I've prevented to y'all. Show me that I'm wrong. See, they're not going to say anything because the devil can't touch the truth. I'm telling you, I was around these people. I was around Rinpet Shepsis Amunet. She is a witch. I was around Sia Amunet Ankh. She is a witch. I was around Hotep Amunet. She is a witch. I was around Dana Miller. She is a witch. I was around Nifu Amenhotep. She is a witch. I was, uh, Elizabeth Westbrook. I was around Dushwa. He's a demon. I was around Waki. She is a witch. They're witches. They're witches. They are witches. It is true. These are facts. And they all behave the same. They have the same behavior, the same pattern that witches have. They go from brother to brother to brother to brother. It's true. That's why in the Pataruk, Baba calls it women planet earth. He did not say women of the world. He said women planet earth. He talks about the nature of the women in that Pataruk. And how they call the women that are like that, they call them ladies of the night and they wear red. And how the men use them to teach their sons the arts of sex. Our parts of the, our actual facts, look, the actual facts are here. The parts of the are here and they cannot play games anymore. They cannot lie and say that they walk with us because their actions show us who they are. So don't sit up here and say that I'm picking on somebody. I'm jealous. And oh, another thing, uh, uh, Hotep Amunet, I have never, ever aborted a fetus in my body. How can I get pregnant if I'm not sexually active, dummy? And when I was in the world, I took birth control and I had self-control. I liked the money more than I did laying up with a man. Sorry, that was just me. I wanted to be fly. I wanted to have fun. I wanted to go to the skating ring and hang out with my friends and smoke marijuana, smoke the reefer. That's what I did. I wasn't laying up with this one and that one and running around. I wasn't. I practiced abstinence. And some of y'all just can't get it, and that's because I'm not from here. I'm not going to pretend that I am. And if some of you all can't understand it, that's just what it is. I mean, you need to watch Mike Tyson's documentary. He said Customato told him the best fighters are the ones that refrain from sexual activity. That's what made him the best fighter. And he said fighting is spiritual. He said, you don't think it's all about, you know, being harsh and, you know, no. It's, he did a lot of training. He had a lot of discipline and he refrained from sexual activity. And right now the master teacher is not sexually active. He's been incarcerated for 22 years. So why don't we act like the master and pick up the aunt cross and walk with him? Why you all can't believe, I mean, know that it, what is real is real. Stop condemning my good works because you're freaking jealous and because you are whole and you done been passed around. I've never aborted any children. I've never did that to my body and to any fetus. I left the community. Baba told me I better not come back pregnant. He told me and his daughter, Kanithia, that. Well, he was talking to his daughter, Kanithia, but he looked at me with those piercing eyes. And I got scared and said, what? Listen, the master teacher is here. He's here to get their seed off the planet. They're here to raise souls up and for people to have themselves ready for when he returns. Don't be fooled by the fire children. And this is why I got 
my thing at the fire to let y'all know that this is real. They, they are consumed by the flames of the evil one. And those children of the Most High are consumed by the order of the green light, the energy of the green light. Don't let them make you think that he ain't coming out because they know he's coming out. You see, the thing is this. They were supposed to assassinate Baba by 2023. So now they know it's over. You understand? They like, damn. Now we don't got no time because we were supposed to have him assassinated by 2023 and it's too late. Now the beings are here. The vortex open. There are beings that are here. They're with us to assist us. All y'all got to do is call out to them. Use the chance. Don't make people think that chanting and praying and living right is wrong. No, this is going to help you line yourself up to come close to the master teacher so you can come closer to your ancestors and so that those on the other sides can assist you in what you need to do. And no, it's not going to be easy, but it's better to be good than it is to do bad. The master teacher is in there because he needed to renew our 26,000 years. He gave us our language. He gave us our dress code. He gave us our diet. He gave us our music. And now he done gave us everything. It's time for him to come out. And they know this. They could pretend all they want to. I'm telling you what I know. And I'm telling you what Baba told me. He said, I'm Melchizedek. He said, I'm not Malcolm X. I'm not Dr. Martin Luther King. I'm not Noble Drew Ali. I'm not the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. I'm not none of those. I am Melchizedek. I am the one of this day and time. I am the one that they sent. He said, do you think that my ancestors or do y'all think that these extraterrestrials and being some other star systems are going to leave me in here? Baba said, you can see they call Nibiru Planet X, the planet of the crossing. It's parked outside of this universe. It can't come in the universe because it's three times the size of planet Earth. They're extraterrestrials. Baba said they're not on their way. They are here. So if you're not tapping in to beings from other star systems or the extraterrestrials that are here, that are around us, that's on you. I'm telling you what I know. I'm telling you what I feel. I'm telling you what is a fact. He will be with us. Get ready. Stop feeding into these negative people. Stop listening to them. Stop talking to members of your family that don't walk with us on Thanksgiving Day. Eating. Come on, man. This is ridiculous. Everybody knows that they're paganistic holiday. Everybody knows that's fake, that Christopher Columbus did not discover America. Come on, man. If people are walking around y'all telling y'all that it's not real, you are talking to a zombie. If you got somebody Telling you that what I'm saying is fake, tell them to prove me wrong. And then tell them I said to show you a confirmation letter from Baba that they're in correspondence with the master teacher. Because you got a lot of brothers in the lodge, they all talking crap about me and they don't even know me. And some of them are mad at me because they tried to come on to me and I, ne I never paid them any mind. And, the, and no, I'm not a lesbian. And no, I'm not a virgin. But my name is Tabby Jet, and that is the name given to me by the master teacher. And I live up to my name. That is who I am. Tab Batat Jatat Hat Shep Sit Atum Rae. That is my name. Stop hating on me, man. I'm not the enemy. I don't think I'm better than anybody. The problem is, you all think that I'm better than you. And you're jealous of that and you're mad at that. But the thing is this, you know, you see the, the, the glory, but not the story. I work hard to get where I am. I made a lot of sacrifices for the master teacher on situations where I could have been dead. But thanks to the Nathado, I am here. It's not my time to go. But people tried to shorten my lifeline and take me out. And they was going to try to make y'all think that I had something to do with Baba being locked up in there. And that's why I'm dead. 
They went to, they tried to make y'all, they, they lied on me and said, um, I had the brother call me talking about, yeah, they said you went to Africa to try to mess up Baba's, um, situation. No, they try to flip it on me. No, y'all niggas are the ones that was paying the government to keep Baba locked up. Janet Goins, Sakina, and all the people that y'all see walking together, pretending that they got love for Baba. They're a bunch of liars and they're a bunch of devils. I'm telling y'all what I know. Iris is one of their goons. And even she wasn't writing Baba. She wasn't writing him. She got two children by some brother in Alabama. And she got two other kids that she don't even take care of. They with their, their father. She got a daughter named Jasmine and a daughter named Femi. And they both with somebody else being raised by their father. What kind of mother leaves their daughter with the father? What's going to happen when your daughter gets her menstrual cycle and she starts developing, you know, breasts and stuff like that? She needs her mother there. The mother needs to guide her daughter to say, look, this is what you're going to do. When your menstrual cycle comes, um, this is what it means. This is what's going on. She needs her mother there. So you abandon your freaking kids. You got two other kids that, that you, you know, y'all take care, you know, clean up your own backyard before you come for me. Take care of your kids. Put your Mitch Dow and your Patar and your Butler Nawal, your Butler Nawal -Nawa -Nawa be on. Because it's called a sidewalk kameez. Wear your garbs. Lose weight. Stop eating meat and garbage and cakes and donuts. That's how it is in the South. When I, when, I, when I went to the congressman's office and I stopped by the culture center and I was in Georgia, I'm going to tell y'all something. And I'm not saying this. to. I'm just speaking the truth from my heart. The spirit of the master teacher is not in Georgia. He is gone. He is not there. I felt like I was in a graveyard. It was so dead. There's no energy there. I'm not impressed by none of these people in this tribe that are connected with celebrities. I could care less. Them celebrities sell their soul to the devil for their fame and their glory. I'm not. Baba said they, their, their God is Juno. Laugh now and cry later. You know that mask, that one is smiling and the other one is frowning? But the mask teacher said, that is their God. Laugh now and cry later. And trust me, they're crying right now. <laughs> they're freaking crying because they know it's over. They're not going to tell y'all that. They're going to keep pretending in front of y'all. But you have to read the Psalms of Yanene because it tells you. Bob is explaining to you, these are masters telling y'all that they're pretending in front of us that it's all good, but behind closed doors, their life is a living hell. So all these people that are going online, telling you all this crap about me, tell them to show and prove your communications with the master teacher and also tell them to show you what they've done. Because I'm in communication with the master teacher. And I can talk to him anytime I'm ready. And whenever he tells me, set up a call. I'll set up a call to talk with the master teacher. And I worked for this. Because when I got to, act, whenever, look, Baba told me when we was locked up in the same facilities at the same time, he said, go to Athens, Georgia. I was chilling. I had two jobs, living in Lithonia. I had my own apartment. I lived in a gated community in Lithonia. Ask the brother Anthony Evans and the brother Dentut Ray because they seen my crib and the brother Amir. I had $6,000 on me when I got to Athens. And the, and the brother Dentut Ray asked me to borrow three grand. He said, can I borrow $3,000? I was like, nigga, I'm not giving you my money. He said, I'll give you back double. They act like, and then when I gave him the money, he act like he didn't want to give me my money back. And I said, all right, it's going to be some problems. And then he came and gave me my money back. But he would act like he didn't want to pay me back. They're bums, man. I had my money in a job. I was making money. Listen to this. Baba told me to go to Athens. I went to Athens. Then he told me to move to Decatur. 
I went to Decatur. Then he told me to get out of He told all of them. He said, go to North Carolina, South Carolina, or Orlando, Florida. And because he specifically said Orlando, Florida, I went to Orlando, Florida. But I didn't want to go to North Carolina. I was like, there's too many pink Celtics out there. They face look pink. They look like them pigs. Racism. I was like, mm-mm. Same thing in Florida, but at least Florida got a lot of people from the islands, you know, a lot of people from the Virgin Islands, a lot of people from the islands, a lot of Puerto Ricans, you know, more culture in Florida. So that's why I went to Orlando. And I said, I want to be where it's hot. Like Baba said, I knew you wasn't going to move from underneath the sun. I was like, no, I like the heat. I want to stay where it's warm, you know? And Baba told them to leave, and they did not leave. And this is what he told me. He said, I told them niggas to get out of Macon. He said, I told them to get out of Covington. I'm telling them to get out of Georgia. He said, leave these niggas here because they don't listen. He said, Georgia is doomed. That's what he said. D-O-O-M-E-D, -O -O -M -E -D, doomed. He said, get out of Georgia, and I left. Matter of fact, as soon as I got that letter, I started getting boxes. And then he had to write me and told me, take my time. Don't rush. And I got out of there because I know who Bob is. And, and the math teacher said that a lot of people are going to get sick and that they're going to be like Magic Johnson is to the AIDS virus. He said that the extraterrestrials had a meeting and there was a Bilderberg meeting and Yanun said he was there. And they said they could have the state of Georgia. And these, these extraterrestrials said, they were all talking. They said, okay, well, what about, um, and, and, and Yanun stepped in because they said something. I forgot. But they said something, and Yanun said, well, what, they said, well, what about, and no, Yanun stepped in and said, y'all could do whatever y'all want, but I'm telling y'all now, don't touch my seed. They said, don't touch our seed. And they said, well, what about the ones that's living in the image of the beast? They were saying that. And Yanu just stood there and looked at them, like as if to say, I said what I said. You understand what I'm saying? And now Baba said, not too long ago, that some of the people that died, that they fooled for the gods. Extraterrestrials ate them. So, huh, this is real. And I'm going to tell you something. I saw Baba transform in front of me. I saw a craft over Baba's house on Bushwick Avenue, a real one. I saw a green light shoot from, I was talking to, I was talking to Baba through the window. In the, um, I was in 717 on the third floor. I was in the kitchen in the window. And from that window, you could see Baba's window. And he, he was flicking the light to let me know that he was communicating with me and I was talking with him. After I spoke with Baba, I saw a green light shoot across the sky. Shoom! I was like, oh, sweat. Like uh, Melchizedek, that green light. I seen it. So it was like, and some of y'all saw those crafts in the sky. So how y'all gonna, y'all saw Baba call the crafts in the sky. Some of y'all saw them. So how are y'all gonna let zombies, because that's what I'm calling them. Don't find out what the name for zombie and I will hodge. Because I'm going to start calling people zombies. Because I'm not going to let zombies in this tribe convince me that I'm lying. Or convince me that Bob is not ever coming out. Or convince me that this extraterrestrial stuff with, with ETs and extraterrestrials. And some of us being children of the most high being fake. Nah, I'm not a zombie. I'm not going to let nobody get in my head. And, and put things in my mind about who Baba is. I'm going to allow myself, I'm going to live and let go and allow myself to be guided by the spirit beings that are here with us, by the ancestors that are here with us to guide us and let us know that the master teacher will be home because Baba said there's a great reward for us in trusting him. So all you got to do is look, you don't got to trust me. Trust the master teacher. Trust in him. He will be here, y'all. He will be here. It is over for them, and they know it. And with that, I want to end this. If y'all got any questions for me, I'm online. Y'all can ask me a question. I don't mind answering a question. Any questions, family?
I already told you all that they did fire rituals, all of them. And some of y'all were there. And some of you that were there, y'all need to do some spiritual cleansing. Take baths, spiritual baths. Look it up. Do research on what it is. Sometimes you could take salt baths. You can do things. Just chant and ask your ancestors while you're chanting. You see, this is how you chant. While you're chanting. Oh, and by the way, I wanted to tell y'all this. The chants are done nine times each. Meaning each chant. Okay, so it's like this. You say the all prayer that's done once. Right, we're not going to Africa until Bob is home. Yeah, don't be stupid. Look, we got to go through the 19 schools that we did before we moved to Georgia. We have to go through the 19 schools before we go to Africa. Because, look, you ain't going to Africa. You can get sick and die. Okay? And Baba said all those people that left and went before him, they're not going to be with him when he comes home. He made that clear. So, yeah, you, I mean, look, we got to wait for our leader to come. You know, how are we going to make moves without him? Y'all just got to be patient. I know it's been 22 years. I know that's a long time. But remember, to the, to the, to the Nathaniel, a year is like a day to them. So it may seem like Baba never coming out. It may seem like I'm telling you what I know. I'm telling you what he said to me. And I let y'all hear him say it. You will see me in the flesh sooner than you know. He's a smart, intelligent, highly intelligent man. Like there's some things that Baba told me that I didn't catch on till years later. <laughs> you know? Yeah, he did say that. Baba did say that. Now, I want to say this. I want to teach y'all something. And maybe you already know, but I want to teach y'all how I, how I chant, okay? Now, the chants are done. Now, if you do the chants every day and you do them, you could clean while you're chanting. You could drive in a car while you're chanting because you know the chants by heart, right? So you don't always, sometimes... When I, need to, when I need to ask questions from my ancestors, I have to sit down and ask them, ask, I have to ask for assistance, right? So how it's done is this way. When you say the all prayer, that's said once. Then you say, Lihum minun, antum atta kararhum, antum atta kararkum, antum atta kararnun, antum atta riya. That one is said once. Then ye, the third chant, the third one, well, the second one is, well, the first chant is said nine times. The other one is said nine times. Each chant and even on Panan Safa Kawun, Pataraku Pasarak, that's said nine times. And then you say the 99 names once. That's it. And then when you chant, you're saying it's like this. Let's say I'm chanting, right? As I'm chanting, I'm thinking about, of course, you want the master teacher to come home. So you chant, and you're asking the ancestors, show me the way. You're saying in your heart and in your soul, through your heart center, your chakra, you're calling out to them, and you're saying to them, I'm having problems. And you, and you explain to them in your mind while you're chanting, you're calling out to them and you're saying, I need help with this. If you're fat and you need to lose weight, you call it ask for the remedies and the strength to help you. Okay? If you, if you feel like you need help with the language, you call out and you ask them to help assist you. And they will guide you. They will show you ways. But it's on, the only way it's going to happen is if you knock. You have to knock. You have, like Baba said, it's done like this. Baba said, if you're walking down the street and I go, hey, he said, you're going to turn around. He said, that's how the chants work. You have to call out. This is a part of our culture. Don't let people who don't pray and chant make you think that you some spiritual guru and that you're stupid because they're the dumb ones that's lost. And that's why their life is the way it is now when they're lost. And, they, and when Baba come out, oh, trust me. I'm going to tell you something. When you're incarcerated and you come home from incarceration, 
The last thing you want to do is be around a, a bunch of people. The master teacher said he has to go in seclusion somewhere. He has to be secluded. You understand? He has to have somewhere where he can be at peace. He said he wanted an RV. So that he could, you know, because he's been locked down for so long. And I'm telling you as a sister that was incarcerated, when you come home from doing time like that, you don't want to be around nobody. You don't want to go nowhere. And when you see people, you can see everything. If they smoke, if they drink, if they sick, if they healthy, if they smart, whatever, you can see it in them. If they clean, you can see it all. So don't think a man like the master teacher that's been gone that many years is going to come home and look at you and see a, a child of the Nathardo if you're walking around devils eating garbage all day and listening to their ranting. He is a master. He is intelligent. He is smart. He is here with us. He is alive and well, and he is living. Okay? So y'all get ready for the master teacher to come out. I'm telling you right now, he's coming home. And like he said, he had two hemorphodites and homorphodites, and that, that, uh, uh, that those people are born that way. So don't let the the brothers that are gay in this tribe or that are sleeping with each other make you think that they're gatekeepers because they're not. They're just down, they're just gay men that see each other going in the bathroom and go running in the bathroom with each other. I seen it at the airport, two men. One man was standing there talking, another man went in there and then he looked and then he went in the bathroom. And I said to myself, how are they doing it in the bathroom? Like, what, what if somebody comes in there to use the bathroom? Do they all know that they do this in the bathroom? There are men in our tribe that are like that and they don't like me. And I don't care. You don't have to like me. But you're, you're living foul. And this is not our way. And you're not going to take our, our culture and our lifestyle and turn it into something that it's not and say that y'all are gatekeepers because y'all are having sex with each other. It is what it is, brother. You're not a gatekeeper. You're just a down low gay man. Or you like men going behind you, vice versa. That's on you. But stop acting like you're some freaking spiritual gatekeeper because you're not. And y'all hate me because I speak the truth. And some of you try to play me to move me out the way with Baba. That's where the word cock blocking come from. Y'all try to cock block me, but it didn't work. Or y'all try other ways to attack me and it didn't work and you're mad and you're jealous. But I'm only following instructions from the master teacher and if y'all don't like it too freaking bad. You're welcome. Hatet tayetet atum so I just wanted to tell you all to stay strong and to just do the right thing. You understand? And no, it's not easy, but it becomes a habit. Because if you're walking and you're working out and you're exercising and you're trying to get yourself healthy and you're stretching and trying to get yourself healthy again, think about it. If you get into a tragic car accident and you have injuries, when you go to get, to get better, what do they have in there? They have balloons. Stretch things for you to stretch, ways for you to bend and work out. They get you moving again. Whenever you get in, whenever you see someone that has been in a tragedy or had a serious injury, the first thing they do when they go to rehabilitation is they put them in a gym. So don't say, oh, I got this. Oh, I got that. No, get to working out. Drinking plenty of water, exercise, chant and pray, read the books and, and, and make Baba proud that he didn't waste his time in there all these years for nothing, for naught. The people that are working to help to, to save Baba's life, y'all should be supporting me. I've done nothing wrong. Y'all got these people making y'all think that I'm the enemy. I am the one who did the work. And that is a fact. Prove me wrong if I'm lying. 
Prove me wrong. Don't talk about it. Prove me wrong. Don't make statements, oh, it's Tabajetism, because if it is, prove me wrong. I have not lied to you about anything. I have not lied to you about my works. I have not lied to you about what I've done. Let me show you something since this phone is at it. Look at this. This is just this was just something sitting here. Look at this. This is Baba's final court judgment. Look what it says. It says The government of the Republic of Liberia. This This can owes its genesis to the petition for declaratory judgment filed by the petitioner through his legal counsel in the Republic of Liberia, Francis Y.S. Gallo This was in the 13th day of July, 2004. This was in front of a court. This is Bob's arguments saying that he's account. He's saying that, look, attorney Morris A. Caaba appearing. This is a, this is, this is a court, this is paperwork signed by the government. Look at the judge's signature right there, y'all. This is Bob's passport. Look with his name right there. This is Bob's paperwork from the, oops, what happened? This is Bob's paperwork from, hold on. Look at this. From the Republic of Liberia, Ministry of Foreign Affairs. It's signed and sealed from the government. Now, that's just something that I had over there that I just wanted y'all to see. This is a civil action thing, but I just wanted y'all to see something real quick. Oops. Anyway, I'm going to do another live. Not now. I'll send a flyer out when I'm ready. But this one, I think I should do it around Christmas <laughs> and give the judge and all of them a Christmas present, you know? But, oh, now you're welcome, sis. Thank you for, um, uh, for telling me. Uh, I mean, thank you for thanking me for stepping up. So I just want y'all to know that's my, that's my briefcase with my paperwork in it right there. Um, when I had came back from taking care of something and I just so happened to look at it and see, but I just want y'all to know that, um, that the master teacher will be out. You, you understand? Because he was put in prison because they're trying to prevent him from opening the Stargate and the judge was a racist. Look at his name, Judge Royals. I'm going to break down his name. I'm going to break down the Roosevelt Richardson case. I'm a, and, and then the thing is this, Shalimar Richardson, she could have been got involved, but they're afraid of Baba coming out because of what went on between them and the brothers. And so they'll sit here in front of y'all and act like they're Baba's wives and they, they didn't wait for him. You know what I mean? And um, that's on them. You know what I'm saying? That's between them and Baba. But I'm just here to tell you that they didn't wait for him. The Bab said didn't wait. Shalomar didn't wait. And a lot of his other mates have moved on. And they got other men. You know? And, um, oh, post my cash app. Uh, okay. I got a note. You know, I'm not, I'm not really into the internet like this, but I'll put it up there. My cash app is dollar sign Tabajet. So it's T is in Tango. A is in Alpha, B is in Boy, I is in Ice Cream, T is in Tango, J is in Joy, E is in Echo, T is in Tom. So it's T, A, B, I, T, J, E, T. So that's my cash app, Tabby Jack. It's T, my, my cash app is T is in Tango. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Hatet Tayete. Yeah, that's my cash app. Yeah, there it is. Uh, thank you, Harar. That's my cash app right there. Yeah, y'all. You know, 
I'm the one that's done all the work, you know? And um, I, I get tired of asking for support. That's why I don't, I'm not saying it anymore. Because I'm like, everybody's seen what I did. They see the work that I've done, you know, from the past. Like, I don't talk about it. I be about it. And I got some other things that I'm going to show y'all. But like I said, Bob will probably be home before I do. But if, if and around that time, I'll post that too to show y'all what I did. And y'all are going to be shocked because members of this tribe are trying to find out what I did, what I filed, where it's at, and they're not. Because remember, with chess, you don't see it coming. And that's coming from the master teacher. He said, you don't see it coming. When you play in chess, you don't see it coming. And he said it was that little pebble that knocked Goliath down. Oh, but let me say, it's something else that I wanted to tell y'all too about, about a few um, people in this tribe. I told y'all that they all did rituals, right? I mean, I broke that down about the snake tongue and coffin ritual. They did another ritual at the tone ceremony. They did rituals in Prospect Park in Brooklyn. You know, Babs had some type of chameleon spirit. Look, the next time y'all go to that bookstore, y'all need to really look at her. She ain't human. It's something inside of her. I don't know what it is, but it's real evil. And it's, it, it's some type of reptilian. You know, she tried to kill me several times. Sakina tried to kill me through witchcraft. That other brother that calls himself Dr. Etun, he tried to kill me too. They all tried to take my life, man. <laughs> you know, they all tried to kill me. And I, and I mentioned that to Baba. <clears throat> Matter of fact, let me let y'all hear this before I leave. Hold on. I want y'all to hear something. Hold on. Hold on a minute. Okay. Hold on. Can you physically? Um, I all reason the prison is still treating you like you just hold on. And then I speak to the family about what's going on. You from a lot of attacks, spiritual attacks. Hold on. People in the trial. Yes. Well, whatever. Because of what you do, how you, how you, how you come. Do you know if that's true or not? Okay, listen. If listen to this. From them, Start again. I said, do you know? Start again because I missed the first part. I said, do you know? Can I hold it up? I said, do you know if it's true or not? Because if it's coming from them and they've been conversing with me and doing things to me all the time that you've been in there, how am I supposed to react if people are doing things to kill me? Not just to hurt me, but to kill me. We're to the point where I had to leave from where I lived in the South all the way to the West just to protect myself. And I'm, and, and I'm alone. There's no one here to protect me. You're in there, I'm out here, and they're out here doing evil things to me. It's not, these are serious things that are happening. It's not something that I can go to sleep at night and feel good, like I just healed from a lot of attacks, spiritual attacks from people in the tribe. So that's what's happening. And so if they do things to me and then I speak to the family about what's going on and tell them the truth about why you're locked up, why you're in there, who's behind it, why, how am I wrong for speaking up and telling the truth about what happened to you all these years and what happened to me because I'm doing my best to do whatever I can to protect you. Well, look, I, I hear what you're saying. Uh did y'all hear that? I wanted y'all to hear that because I wanted them to know that I let Baba know that they were doing evil spiritual stuff to kill me in this tribe, all right? And one of, one of, one of the things that they did, because sometimes um, a few years ago, they went to Trinidad and did some spiritual stuff against me too, you know? And so that's what's going on, family. We're dealing with real demons and evil people that work for the devil. And I'm not talking about a devil. I'm talking about Azazel, the, the devil, 
okay? The one that gave birth to his son on 72nd Street. And I told y'all to look at Fatima York, how she looked like Roberta Flack. And I told you Fatima York, she could sing too, just like Roberta Flack. And she looked just like her. I showed y'all the clan mother, how she looked like a fly. And I said, that's what she is. They demons, y'all. So it's almost like, it's just like in that movie, The Devil's Advocate. That lady tried to tell her husband that they monsters. She kept saying, yo, they're monsters. And she kept trying to tell him. And he kept ignoring it. Kenan Ken, Ken Reeves, Reeves, whatever that man is that played the son of the devil. And in that movie, they lived on, the, they lived on 72nd Street. So I'm trying to tell y'all that what y'all saw in that movie is real. And that there's people in this tribe that are demons and they do spiritual work with the devil. Just like when um, the, in that movie, The Devil's Advocate, when he went to a basement and there was a Haitian man in there. And the man said, we dealing with currency and blood. And he took a tongue, a cow's tongue, and put nails in it and wrapped it up. So that way when the man go to court and the man tried to talk, the man started coughing. And every time he tried to speak up to the judge, he kept coughing and he couldn't talk. You see what I'm saying? So we dealing with spiritual wickedness in high places, okay? Principalities, the rulers of darkness, we dealing with the devil and his hosts. So while y'all sitting up here wondering, where's Baba? When is he coming home? This, this, and that. And y'all keep questioning everything that I tell y'all. And y'all keep doubting, thinking that he's not going to get out. Y'all don't under understand that what we dealing with is with a devil. And you got to remember that this devil is very smart. Just like Mike Tyson made a statement, he was like, if you think you're smarter than Satan, you better think again. Because Baba said, when you think that you got it over this devil, and you think that you're smarter than him, and you all of that, Baba's like, you got to put on a whole armor of the Most High to protect yourself against the wiles of the devil. These people are children of the devil. Not a devil, the devil. Azazel, Tarnush, Satan. This is who they work for. And so what they'll try to do to y'all is tell y'all not to support me, not to help me. So that way, they know with every war, finances is, 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 is needed. We at war, y'all. We at war with the devil. So it's like they trying to make y'all not help me, not support me. You said I didn't hear what Baba had to say because the, the lawyer made me cut it off. He said, I hear what you're saying. That's all you needed to hear. Brother. So that's it. I just wanted y'all to hear that I told him what they did. He said, I hear what you're saying. That's what he said. An attorney made me cut off the call because he saw that I moved my phone to record it. And he put his hand to his neck and was like, cut it out. So I didn't want the lawyer to hang up the phone. So that was the most that I got out the conversation. But Baba said, I hear what you're saying. And he said, my mother always said to me, there's two sides to a story. He said, there's the truth. And then he said, there's the truth. And then and I, he said, there's two sides to a story. I said, yeah. I said, there's their side, your side. I said, and then, and then there's the truth. That's what I said. That's how that conversation ended. And then Baba went on to talk about their 6,000-year rule and how um, um, witchcraft, he started just talking about that as well. There's no rest to play. I just told you that they cut, they, um, the lawyer made me cut the conversation off. The lawyer saw me recording it and told me to cut it off. So that's why you can't hear no more. That was in the beginning of our conversation. So there's, there's no more for me to play. All right, so that's it. But anyway, like I said, y'all, this devil that we dealing with is real and, it, and their children are working with them. All right. So um, anyway, I'm going to end this call. I mean, end this live because I've been on here for an hour and 28 minutes and people don't got time to be listening to a recording that long. You understand? But I do have some other recordings with Baba talking. I just got to download them on my phone. And then when I because I got an update to give y'all, like I say, I do it on Christmas. I got a nice fat Christmas gift for y'all about uh, Judge Royals. 
and Sheriff Seals and Sharon Ratley and um, all of these lawyers, Agent Patrick, Mr. Bundy. And I got to tell y'all all the roles that they play in incarceration of Dr. Melikazi York. All right. And those of you who want to support me, support me. If you don't want to support me, don't support me. But what I don't like is don't don't slander my name because I've done nothing to none of you in this trial. You don't have the right to talk out against me. OK. And just like Bobby has a protection over him, so do I. OK. So just be careful. Watch what you say, because I've done nothing to none of you. None of you in this tribe. I've, I've slept with none of your men. I've stole nothing from your home. I've disrespected none of y'all. You know, I carry myself like a lady. And y'all, and, and some of you devils, you bring the worst out of a person. You understand? And just like I told Baba recently, I said, you know, you want me to behave a certain kind of way, but you put me in a line of fire with a bunch of devils. How am I supposed to react? Y'all know how I am. You understand? And so with that, I'm going to close. But I just wanted to tell y'all that this, this fight, this war that's going on is real. And um, if you want to continue to support me, you can. The sister, I will uh, put in my cash app in the description box. It's Tabijet, T-A-B-I-T-J-E-T. -E that's my cash app. My PayPal is my email, AshantiZulu at gmail.com. And um, like I said, I just wanted to clear the air. And let y'all know that, no, the brother Amanuma never wrote Baba. Baba told me he never wrote me. When Baba was in prison, he never wrote him. The brother Manessa, a.k.a. Lifeway, never wrote him. The brother, um, what's his name? Um, the young elder, never wrote him. The brother called himself the young pharaoh, never wrote him. Baba said, these people, tell these people to show y'all where they have communicated with me. Because all that, I came to him in a dream. And you know, the master teacher, Baba said, that's all garbage. We deal with sound right reasoning. He said, doesn't even sound correct. So how could y'all believe something like that? He said, some of these people are zombies. They have gone. They let the truth, the ways of the world suck the truth out of them. Many of them are not healthy. They don't even look good. They don't take care of themselves. I could show my face for a minute. <laughs> anyway, I just want y'all to see my face. I got to go. Y'all have a wonderful day. And I hope that this update, uh, this little update that I told y'all that it makes things clear to, to many of you. Okay. Um, I'm trying to think, is there anything else that went on that I have to say to you all before I, um, before I end this live, I'm trying to think, is there anything else that I'm missing? I told y'all about Sakina that she's a thief. I told y'all the Babtech is a thief and that they're all rich and that she works for the government. I told y'all that Hoontwe, Anthony Montgomery, and all the rest of them are all informants, and they all work together, they all stay together, and they all look out for each other. You could tell they're one big clique. You could tell the cliques, they all hang out. I told y'all that all these other people that I told y'all about are witches. I told y'all to stay away from them. Um, let me see. Was there anything else that I needed to address that I can remember? No, I can't. If I do, I'll just do another live. Y'all have a wonderful weekend, and um, don't forget what I said. It is uh, um, 2 o'clock y'all time, and y'all have a wonderful day, all right? And um, thank you so much, Badia. And y'all got my email address. Y'all can reach out to me through the email. You know, we family. Y'all can reach out to me. Look, you know, I have the same issues, well, the same human anatomy that everyone else has. <laughs> you understand? So anyway, y'all have a wonderful day. And um, um, we'll talk later. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll do another live if I feel it's necessary. I just wanted to clear the air about some things. And, and yeah, I will stay strong. And if anyone have any questions, I'll wait five minutes in case y'all got any questions about what I said.
Alright, gotta go. Wadu.